Hey, 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 Charisma here. Welcome back. If you're new here, hello. Today I'm going to be reacting to a video called He Was a Billionaire and Brought Her to Walmart, The Life of a Sugar Baby by Sauce Gas. Let's get into it. Here we go. Putting yourself in this sugar baby persona, like what does the future of a sugar baby Russian supermodel look like chasing after a rich husband? Well, um, I could answer this in character or I can give you a real life example because my character is based off of a real life person who was my roommate. Do, oh, yeah. <laughs> there, that's what I wanted to know. Dun, 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 like where did dun, dun, this come dun. from? Like how did this start? So basically my roommate was from Russia and she uh, had moved to Ukraine, uh, Kiev, and uh, she on a website, what's your price.com found this guy who took her to Miami and was like, okay, so I'm going to give you $50 for this date, but I'm going to give you a date. And then afterwards I give you $50. It's literally the website is what's your price? Like, what is your price for a dinner date? So she went on this website um, and it was like a $50 date, but they went out to dinner. He took her eventually to like Walmart, bought her hair tools, um, shampoo, conditioner, cosmetics, all, clothes. Walmart. So homie balled out. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> right? He got some was, hair products. It was, it was adds okay. up. honestly, um, it was a pretty interesting move on his part because we later found out that he was a billionaire yeah um so straight up he straight was up. a billionaire he said let me get you how resources. old was he and how old was she uh so she was 30 and i would say that he was in his late 60s um oh. and you were how old being exposed to all yeah. i was 18 years old so how did you have a 30 year old roommate at 18 by the way uh it was kind of just like imposed on me so i was dating this guy who was really sketchy he was a russian guy i assumed that he was mafia mm. um because i wow. just didn't know anything and then one day just you know it kind of like disappeared but we're not going to really talk about that um and you know just for my personal well-being but he told me that he had a friend that was coming into town and she is in an interesting relationship and that she couldn't actually it's either she stays with a friend that's going to pose as a family member or she has to go stay with this guy that she's not fully comfortable staying with because all of her bank accounts and stuff were tied to this man so he if she were to check into a hotel he would know exactly which hotel she's checking mm. into because she didn't wow. have any of her own personal financial freedom mm. except for the platinum amex that had her name on it but that was linked to him so um i posed as a friend of a friend which was technically true that opened up my home so i was like basically like sharing a bed with this absolute stranger but i'm just honestly like i would consider myself a very nice person yeah. because i was just like didn't even know this chick i was just like okay so she's gonna pay rent wow wow i'm like no but you know what she's gonna buy you a lot of shit and i was like fuck it i'm broke Let's yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> so she wasn't paying rent but she had a platinum amex card and she so could she spend. would just ball out whatever she wanted exactly so um she would like get me transactional like, relationships right transactional even relationship. in your situation <laughs> she didn't even speak a lick of english comes in different forms i'm telling you either so uh we would just translate you know in my tiny shitty apartment through google translate and i would just be like so what do you do for a living and then it was it, it was always very uh, obscure but eventually we found out what would she say so she would tell me um that she is a model mm -hmm. they and all are by the way they all are. <laughs> they're all models yep. I mean, they're, they're gorgeous okay. uh, i for sure give her that She's a beautiful woman um that she was a model and she had a very rich boyfriend but they have a very complicated relationship and they he wants do. to move very quickly and she wants to slow it down and i and that's kind of as far as it went because i noticed that she maybe wasn't as comfortable talking about it and i was like honestly like is this really going to change my life no Just, yeah you're good but then i started to notice i obviously was 18 and i was dating like this a very interesting Russian character that was, I would say, emotionally abusive because I was mm. at the time a very malleable person. Like I was very easy to to bend to your will because I, as a woman, I thought that my role was to do anything that I could to please a man. Mm -hmm. But at the expense of myself, it, I would do it at the expense of myself, of my own like emotionally emotional integrity. Um, so she, I remember her just starting to give me advice and it was very much like, you know, he has money. Like she'd be like, you know, he has money. And I was like, yeah, um, I can see that by the cars that he picks me up in. Mm -hmm. So why is it that you 
pay for shit for him, huh? Like, why is it that, you know, he likes to ask you to pay for stuff because you're not going to say no. And I was oh, like, you were paying for the rich Russian boyfriend. Like sometimes like he, would, he would like, sometimes we would go to dinners and I think he was just testing me. Mm. Um, we would go to dinners and it would be like his idea would be like 450 bucks per person. And I was broke and there would be times where he'd be like you pay for it and he was a scary dude so no. i'd be like okay. wow so he would ask her to pay for dinner when it's like 450 bucks each and she didn't have any money okay interesting fine didn't really have much of a backbone or a spine mm -hmm. so she started giving me like this ridiculous advice on how to talk to men and how to carry myself but what was the advice that she yeah. would give you? The advice would be like, you're a woman, you're a prize. Um, never pay for anything. If a guy wants to chase you, let him chase you until the ends of the earth. Don't show any interest. Don't whatever. Which some of it could hold value. Like you do have to play the game. But at the end of the day, like when you're in a like relationship, I think it should be, you know, yeah, I don't need to play. The, play yeah. a, Once a, you're in a relationship, the game, game time anymore. is over. right? Exactly. It's more like, yeah. okay, now how do we grow from here? Like now we're a, a unit. Now we're a partnership. How do we expand from this point instead of constantly playing this game? And what was the age difference in you and the boyfriend? Uh, it was 10 years. So okay. I was 18 and he was 28. At the time. You said he was a scary guy. I mean, yeah, he was just like. So I just had a cold, cold look. Like you looked at him and you saw Siberia. Like there was just something in that guy's eyes. <laughs> what, were, you, were, were you were you more attracted to him? Were you intimidated by him? Yeah. Did you respect him? What like how does a beautiful 18-year-old yeah. girl end up in this relationship? And on top of that, Pain. you're paying for shit somehow. Yeah. So he pursued me uh, very intensely in the beginning. Um, he like sent me messages on. So I didn't even have a social media following at the time, but he would send me messages constantly. Like he wants to take me out to dinner. He wants to do this. And I remember I had just moved to Brickell um, and I used to live with my parents and I had gotten a job for a real estate developer who actually ended up sexually harassing me for like the whole year that I was working for him. Yeah. So I emotionally was in a very vulnerable position because obviously like my boss, like the, the man that I respect and I work for is making me feel terrible every single time I walk into the office. Like yeah. he would just comment on my looks or um, he would make me bend down and pick stuff up and I could see, like, see that yeah. he was trying to look up my skirt or he was making comments about like my chest size and stuff like that when all I was trying to do was just focus on like the task at hand. Yeah. Um, and additionally, I was lonely. So I graduated high school early. I graduated at 16 years old. And by then I was already a junior in college. So it was difficult to make college friends because I was a minor and no one wanted to get in trouble by having a beer with me. Mm -hmm. um, and also it was just like I had just moved to this big city where there's young lawyers, like there's doctors, there's finance bros, there's people doing a lot of things and I don't really know where I stand. So I was looking for almost a man to guide me or like be like my my anchor mm -hmm. because I felt like I was just going in places that I really shouldn't have. Um, and he presented as a really strong masculine figure that you can even liken to Andrew Tate in the way that he would speak and, and carry himself. And mm -hmm. I was attracted to that as someone who at the time was more emotionally weak and didn't really know where I stood uh, with myself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was just like the nice dinners and picking me up from work in the, in a new car or like a G wagon or something, something that I really hadn't uh, much, I didn't have much experience with at the time. Um, he so she was, okay. I get that. He's charming. He's has some money. He has all the flashy cars, which clearly she was motivated by, right? She was intrigued by all of this stuff, uh, how much money he had. He would give me money for things in the beginning. Uh, I would pay for things, but he off the bat started paying my rent. Mm. Um, so he financially dominated me really early on. So I almost felt like I owed him mm. because he was paying my rent and he knew I didn't make that much money and I was trying to find a new job because I was getting sexually harassed. So he knew I was in a very vulnerable position. Um, he was also married. Um, mm. I found out later, but it, was, it wasn't like a real one. It was like one of those Miami ones that it's like, come on, I just want to. Be an American citizen. So I don't know anything about that, <laughs> by the way. I don't know. Um, <laughs> just like you wink, know, wink, wink, government. I, I definitely made that kid. girl from. <laughs> I was a kid, so yeah, I was a kid, and I made mistakes that kids tend to make, especially when you're looking for love in the wrong places. But I think I've grown from that, and I'm glad that I was thrown into such a, a turmoil, a very turbulent relationship because. I was able to see one extreme and know then kind of like be able to like sniff out red flags. Mm -hmm. And it's led me to have great relationships from that point forward. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another or. 
Let me know what your thoughts of, <clears throat> of what we just covered. Uh, he was a billionaire and brought her to Walmart. And have you ever encountered something like that or experienced something like that? Share with me in the comments below. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to subscribe, like the video, and turn on the notification bell. Take care. Bye for now.